Crazy Joe here with Big Doug Jimmy. We have news coming out of UFC Fight Night 91. The main event, uh, one guy is injured. He has a back injury. Michael Maverick Chessy is out of the main event in Suffolk Falls, South Dakota against El Kukui, Tony Ferguson. I was extremely looking forward to this match because these two dudes are beast and the octagon in the cage in MMA and combat sports. Dudes are both legends in their own right, in my opinion. They're both badass warriors, and I was extremely looking forward to this. Unfortunately, Michael has a back injury, and he had to pull out of the fight just a little over two weeks before the event. Now, I'm going to go over some guys uh, and men fighters who could be a replacement in the main event. Uh, you know, Ferguson's ranked number three right now. Michael's ranked number 10, and Michael had to pull out. <clears throat> Who could main event this with Tony Ferguson to uh, <clears throat> keep Ferguson on the card? Now, not everybody I'm going to mention is on in the top 10, but there is a group of them that are. So we'll go over the guys who are in the top 10 who could possibly potentially take the fight. Uh, there is one guy who I highly doubt will because of his religion and Ramadan and whatnot, uh, and that is, of course, Khabib Nurmagomedov. He is ranked number one, and I really don't expect him to take the fight on short notice and only being able to train for like, what, a week because I think it ends on the 5th. So, and that, the fight is on the 13th. <clears throat> so, I really doubt that uh, the Iron Eagle, uh, Khabib Nurmagomedov, the Eagle, is good. I said Iron Eagle. <laughs> it's funny. Uh, the Eagle is not going to take this fight, I doubt. I would hope someday we could still see the two of them fight down the road sometime. Uh, you know, so maybe a co-main event, a pay-per-view, maybe be the main event of a fight night we'll see in time. Or a main event, yeah, you know, so, um, and then Michael Johnson, he is a big possibility, he, in my opinion, he's ranked number eight, he's down a couple, he's down two slots uh, underneath Michael, uh, so, you know, Michael, so we go from one Michael to another Michael, could Michael Johnson take the place of, uh, you know, of Chessy, could Johnson the menace take his place? It is possible. Uh, he had his last fight in December 2015 against Nate Diaz, where he lost by unanimous decision. So it's been, uh, you know, well over seven months since he fought. Would he be fight ready though? Uh, you know, he doesn't have a fight booked. He, you know, it, when, when was his suspension up after the fight? Did he have to have surgery? I don't remember all the details. If you want to leave me a comment down below with that information, if you know it. Now we go on to a guy who has become amazing in the lightweight division since he moved up from featherweight division and lost to Conor McGregor. Uh, we have Dustin Poirier, the diamond. He is ranked number nine. So that would be a very interesting and awesome fight. He's on a four-fight win streak right now. He got a KO, a TKO, KO, TKO in the first round. The same again, and then a unanimous decision, and then another first-round finish, uh, UFC 199. So would he be cleared in time? I'm not sure. I mean, it was a quick fight, early fight stoppage. He knocked out Bobby Green, you know, so... There is possibility that he could step in on short notice. He has been saying he wants a big fight. Uh, he wants a high-ranked opponent. So this would be the perfect guy for him to fight. Uh, you know, but it would be short notice. But you never know. Short notice sometimes. A guy comes in, knocks him out, chokes him out in short notice. And then there's times where the guy gets finished early in short notice or goes to the decision. The next guy is Benal Dairouche. He is ranked number 11. And he last fought at UFC 199 as well. And he had a early finish over James Vick uh, with a first round KO TKO. So there is a possibility of him as well, depending on if he has been uh, medically cleared. I don't remember if he had uh, any suspension or not, uh, you know, or if he has any issues coming out of that fight. Not that I'm aware of. Leave me a comment down below if you know the information and. Uh, you know, you could share that to enlighten me to know whether he may be a possibility. Uh, you know, all three of those men that I've mentioned so far that are, in my mind, potentialities for him to fight, like Johnson, Poirier, and Derouche, uh, those would all be exciting fights for Ferguson. Now we go to the rank number 12, Alan Akaya. He is, uh, you know, the raging one from New York. He uh, last fought on April 5th. 
uh, April 2015 uh, against Jorge Masvidal. So it's been over a year since he fought. I'm pretty sure he had... Um, is he still... I'm not trying to remember if he's still under contract with the UFC or not, if he has a fight contract with him or not. Um, I think he does. Still has another fight or two left with them. Um, I mean, he was on a winning four-fight winning streak, so it'd be kind of fucking stupid if they uh, didn't re-sign him or they let him go. I think he just he had an injury, had surgery, and he's been preparing to fight. He doesn't have anything booked right now. Could he take it on short notice? Possibly. Uh, and then we go to Evan Dunham. He is ranked number 13. He recently moved up with his win uh, back in December. Well, I don't know. It's weird. He moved up. Uh, what it is is that the dude moved down. The, the, the rankings on the UFC is weird anyways. Um, he's on a three-fight winning streak. All unanimous decisions. He hasn't fought since December 11, 2015. So... There is a possibility that he ends up taking this on short notice if he's fight ready. I don't know. It would be fun to see him versus Ferguson, but I'd rather see him versus one of the other guys. Now we go to some notable names who are not ranked, who would be fun to see him fight. I don't know if they would keep it in the main event slot, but I think it would be cool for them to do it. Uh, we have Drew Dabar. He is. Uh, he had his last one January second, two thousand sixteen, UFC one ninety five against Scott Holtzman uh, by unanimous decision. It would be fun to see him step in there against Ferguson. That would be an awesome matchup, I think, in my opinion. Uh, I believe he's a uh, fight cleared. I'm not sure though. But I'm pretty sure he's not under suspension or had surgery, from what I recall. If I'm wrong, leave me a comment. Let me know that down below. And then. <coughs> mm. I feel like I'm going to cough. Uh, and then we got the new breed, Eric Coach. I think he's got a new nickname, though. But um, Eric is uh, coming off of a nasty second-round submission over Shane Campbell uh, back on May 29th, 2016. Is he fight cleared? I'm not sure, but it but I would be surprised if he wasn't ready to, you know, I'd be surprised if he wasn't cleared by the doctors to fight, um, you know, medically cleared. So uh, he is a potentiality. It would be a very interesting uh, fight to see these two men go toe-to-toe -to -toe in the UFC with their records being pretty close to similar, 21-3 and three and then 15-4, and four, you know. And then next up is one of my favorites in the lightweight division. There's, it's so stacked, that division. So many awesome fighters. And it is Brave Hot Stevie Ray. I know he just recently had to pull out of a fight. Uh, and then but that's at the uh, Ultimate Fighter, I believe it is. Or uh, let me look and see if I can remember. Is it the Dos Anjos? I think it's the Dos Anjos um, Fight Night 90 where he had to pull out of a fight. Um, where is it? I feel like it's here somewhere. Um, maybe it was the ultimate, yeah, it's the ultimate fighter was the, god damn, hitting the wrong buttons, uh, was where he pulled out, you know, so it'd be kind of weird if, you know, he pulled out against the fight with Jake Matthews and Kevin Lee's fighting. Uh, and that's July 8th, and then this event is July 13th, five days later, so it'd be weird if uh, Stevie Ray stepped in, so I doubt that'll happen. Uh, you know, so these, pretty much that name is really actually scrapped from the list. Uh, would just have been fun to see him versus Ferguson. Maybe down the road someday that'll happen. So um, the person that I would uh, like to see the most is Dustin Diamond Poirier. I would like to see him go against uh, Tony Ferguson in the main event there. Uh, if not, then maybe the Menace Johnson or Daya Roosh or uh, Alan Akaya. You know, so one of those four would be awesome because we already know Eddie is going, Eddie Alvarez is going against those Angels. Cerrone's already booked in a fight in the featherweight division against Kevin, uh, against Rick Story. Nate Diaz is going against Conor McGregor. Edson Barboza is um, booked for a fight. I'm trying to remember who. Against uh, Gilbert Melendez. Uh, and then Anthony Pettis is booked for a fight against, I don't remember who it is off the top of my head, um, who was it, uh, Charles Oliveri, uh, you know, so a lot of guys are booked in fights in the top uh, eight, seven, the top seven is uh, already, uh, 
you know, it booked in fights except for Khabib, who uh, is not fighting because of his religion, I guess. And then Tony Ferguson, you know, he's ranked number three. He's the guy we're waiting to see who he's going to fight. Um, I don't know about Francisco Ternaldo or Rashid Magomedov, but, um, I mean, those would be interesting as well, but I'm not sure. I'd have to look into them, but they weren't on my list of notable names to mention. So the one I would most likely prefer to see is uh, Poirier, uh, to be honest, uh, to be uh, on uh, in all honesty. So leave me a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts and opinions. Big Dog Jimmy uh, said that he wants Khabib to take it on short notice, but if not Khabib, he wants to see Michael Johnson, the menace, coming in and fighting Tony Ferguson. Uh, he wants the highest ranked opponent for Ferguson in this fight. So, very interesting. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button. Leave us a comment here. It's Crazy Joe's Galaxy. If you enjoyed the video, hit that subscribe button. If you are a new uh, viewer here, we do all types of videos here at Crazy Joe's Galaxy. So, you know what I mean? So, um, it's very interesting stuff here with UFC fights where there's another fight down in the books. But I am glad that, uh, you know, I know it has nothing to do with this one, but Anthony Johnson and, uh, and, um, Glover Tech Zero, they're going to be fighting at UFC 202, which is awesome that they still kept that fight. That they're, It sucks that they got moved, but I'm excited still to see that fight nonetheless. Cannot wait. That's going to be awesome. Thanks for watching. Remember, if you enjoyed the video, hit that like button to support the channel. Thanks for watching.